Hi, welcome to another edition of Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. Today, joining me in the studio is my friend Tony from Oh My Restaurant in LaGrange. He gave us a rare glimpse into the front of house and back of house operations of his establishment. Take a look. Welcome to Oh My. Hi, welcome to another edition of Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. Joining me in the studio today is my friend Tony from Oh My Restaurant, brand new Vietnamese restaurant downtown LaGrange. So today we will be feeding our guest celebrity panel. Mr. Matsini is joining us. Yeah, how you doing? Miss Eileen Hubner, Hello. thank you very much for joining us for the first thank time. You. And welcoming back Mr. John Pesarella. Always a pleasure. Always. pleasure. Thank you. So Tony, the first dish, Shanghai noodle shrimp. So we're gonna have another interesting show here, guys. Look at all these ingredients. Wow. We're gonna. I'm, I mean, we're smelling all the aromatic, different spices and herbs and stuff. So we're gonna have some Shanghai noodle shrimp. Take it over here, Tony. Thank you. You're welcome. We use vegetable oil. Okay. And Tony, uh, where do you get your ideas, or where does your menu come from? Family, country. From me and my wife. Okay. <laughs> That's family. Smart answer. That's, family, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. It. Well, this is a Vietnamese restaurant, just to give you a breakdown. And him, oh, oh. Oh. him and his wife, him and his wife uh, have had other restaurants. They own Tippy Thai as well. So, from my understanding, through the ownership, is Vietnamese is the new, going to be the new hotness. Okay. You know, just as she said, Thai was 13 years ago when she opened up her place. So we look at Thai, we look at Vietnamese re uh, cooking. What's the difference between the two? The two of them. I will say the sauce, we don't use, uh, Vietnamese doesn't use them, them, them any kind of sauce, like oyster sauce, okay. or they kind of stuff, but they use a lot of garlic. Mm. So okay. they're herb or more vegetable based? M more, mm, yeah. We don't, the Vietnamese, I, I never see using vegetables. Now what is that you're putting What in? is this? Onion. Onion? Oh, okay. Oh. So it's Chop onion that you fried and chopped up then? Okay, and you started off, and that's more garlic. onion, and more <laughs> onion. But the first uh, right, ingredient so was like garlic, right, Tony? Huh? That was garlic sitting in front of you that yeah. you started with. So garlic were these mushrooms? Wow, those are mush shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms, garlic, peanuts, crushed peanuts. Nope. What is garlic. That? This is garlic? garlic too. So that is a, a roasted garlic. So this roasted is, garlic, wow. roasted onion. Why do you do? Okay, so let me. The question I ask is, why do you do two different types of forms? A toasted and a, mm. a regular. What? This is new for it me. has different, more uh, aroma in it. Okay. So there would be if different you're... aromatic bases mm -hmm. because yeah. that's cut fresh and this has been roasted. So mm. I'm finding that very interesting. Yeah, I've never seen it is. That. I never, yeah. yeah, I've never seen it either. We love seeing new things on the show. You know, we all have some type of culinary background mostly. And, and all those ingredients are working their way over here by yes. us. Just yes. so you know. Now, what is oh. this? Trust me. This oysin sauce okay. with garlic. Okay. Oysin? Mm -hmm. Love poison. That's no. another one. That's You'll another like it one? even more than the oyster sauce. Okay. Oh, poison oh. has the sweetness to it that the oyster doesn't. Oh, okay. That looks like a good ingredient to be putting in there. And you can get poison <laughs> sauce? Yes, you can get it out of the grocery <laughs> store. store. Okay. Okay. You'll yeah. see it in the aisle, teriyaki, so hoisin, so oyster. Okay. And you know what? That's what I encourage people to do is, that's what I did. I had it from a restaurant one time. I learned it was oyster sauce and I went and I got it. And I used it at home. Same thing with the hoisin. I used hoisin 
You can add that even if, um, like we were talking about the rice. Yeah. Add that to some rice or some noodles or some shrimp, mm -hmm. like it was on the last show. Add it to that and that would be awesome. Wow. And you'll I, get I, a nice flavor profile from that. I'll tell you, very this simple. smells very good. This smells very good. I like all these. Pete, so many different ingredients. Do you think down the road you can get three burners going so each of us could have our own I don't know. frying pan full? Yeah. Because I don't. There you go. That yeah. smells so just. And what kind of noodles wow. are these? Yeah. These are rice noodles. Oh. Is it a specific That's size a or are they always the same size? You can, you can use any, any size. I like to use the medium size. Okay. Oh, you have to steam it for uh, boil it for at least 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, really? I already okay. boiled it. So. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Is this one of your favorite dishes? You know, is this it's, a dish that is, is frequently purchased through the restaurant? It's one of the ones that's been selling a lot in sure. the restaurant. Okay. I can see it. It smell why. Mm. Wow. So if you like garlic. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pete, do you want your tray first, your plate first? No, I'll just I'm, take it. It may not make it back to you. Do. Nice little garnish. Oh, wow. And I would move your burner. Yeah, we'll get this out of the way here. Oh. Wow, is that awesome. Wow. What is that? Oh. I never this is a pickle. Okay. It's pickle. Pickle garnish. Was it carrots you and can, onion? You, uh, no. This is... Um, Carrot? Reddish. Wow. Asian radish what with that carrots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was good. That was smooth. <laughs> nice. That's a good contrast Beautiful. to in flavor. I do. I huh? do. Beautiful plate. Yeah. That That's beautiful. Awesome. Wow. It smells just Oh my god, I'm smelling the pan. Please. We'll turn this down there. Down. Turn it down. You can clean that pan, you know, without know, even getting right? it to the sink. That's Italian to me. Just take the I bread. Know, take yeah. it <laughs> Some right. garlic and some more garlic. Wonderful. So how long have you been in the operations there? At oh my. Which we all love saying that word, by the way. Oh my. <laughs> One month. One month. Wow. And how's everything going? It's doing pretty good. Really? I like it. Well, well that's the problem thing. when you start a new trend. Probably with your wife, she had to go through some of that. But I've heard good things already. The place looks beautiful. Thank You're right on a main strip. Well, you take as much as you that want. That sounds awesome. Please. These ingredients are fantastic. So, use some shiitake mushrooms. You use some onion. Use some garlic. Garlic. So you use two onions and two garlics. Wow. I can't believe that. But that's very right interesting though. for me. Yeah, they would be two different contrasting spices basically, because one's roasted and the other one's just fresh and chopped. And then this adds a nice little kind of side thing. I like how you put that on the side too. You didn't drown it all over because then you're going to change the flavor profile of the whole dish if you I'll did that. I'll tell you that. right now, it, does, it complements the food. Yes, very good. that's what it should. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So how about some reaction, guys, as soon as you're done chomping? Very, very good. It's very you good. You are very right about tasty. the hoisin sauce. I've, mm -hmm. You taste the sweetness? Yeah. Yeah, very good sauce. Yeah. Again, you can just go to the store and buy it for three bucks. Wow. And you can change your whole profile. That's why I love bringing different kind of... Um, ethnic foods on here because we're seeing so many different herbs and spices. People are like, well, I saw that on the show. I'm going to try the hoisin mm -hmm. sauce or the oyster sauce, and we're going to throw it on some rice next time or some shrimp. It tastes real You know, good. just buy some shrimp yeah. from the from the deli or, you know, from the counter at, at the grocery store. And this could probably go over rice, too. But that, So why do you guys it use the work. rice noodle? I use Versus the other rice. noodles. Um, Does it just go best with it, soak up the juice and stuff like that? I like it more this noodle than uh, any any kind of other, uh, other noodle. Really? It, it has more flavor to me. Okay. Does yeah. it really? Good. That's mm -hmm. what it, it also s absorbs a lot of the the, so, the sauce and the sauce, sauce in it. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. John never lies. You look at it. He keeps <laughs> that plate in front of him. Every yeah, it's, it's very good. I'll tell you right now though, the pickle that made that yes. that meal so whole, good. Yeah. Exactly. That smells good too. Mm -hmm. I like to put the pickle at the end so you can can clear your palate. Mm. And okay, that's a good that's idea. A, yeah, yeah. Eat, some, eat some, you get that sweetness going down, and there's some pickled vegetables at the end. Yeah. No, I've yeah. seen some restaurants pickle that type of vegetable, mm -hmm. but in a little bit, like you, where you can grab it to eat that as a cleanser before you're eating your meal. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Very good, though. It's very good. Well, that was our Shanghai noodle shrimp. And you guys are also using awesome shrimp. You're not using Which those cheap yeah. little, you know, was yeah. that 2125 or? Uh, 2125. 2125? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are good size, so I like to see that, that they're not using these no, little no, no. things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those mm -hmm. are some good shrimp. It's a, it's a two-biter is what I call it. Yeah, it right. takes two bites. Well, Tony, that was an awesome play. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back, and we're going to make another one, guys. I like I All can't right, wait. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thanks.
Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. Joining me in house today is Tony from Oh My Vietnamese Restaurant in LaGrange, brand new restaurant. So, we are going to be feeding a second plate to our celebrity judge panel here. I think they really, really enjoyed that oh, first plate. It was very good. Shanghai noodle shrimp, which was awesome. Very, very good. Okay. Matt, Eileen, John, welcome back. Our you. second plate will be a lemongrass beef. This I'm looking forward to. Lemongrass is a very unique herb as well. Go ahead, Tony. Okay. We start with the vegetable oil. It's funny how all ethnics, all, you know, everything starts with that. You yeah, know? always. Some kind of good oil. He used two garlics in his last plate. Seems like yeah. garlic's loved by everybody around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, is the beef marinated or is it... Uh, no. No? Okay. Do you have tenderize it or anything? Or Not just slice it up? Just slice up in the chunks then? Or? Mm -hmm. It's oh, sliced. okay. So it comes... So it's right. okay. Just slicing it up. And it's sliced uh, very thin. Yes, it looks like it's sliced very, thin. Very, very thin. Easier to cook. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that. They get a chicken breast, you know, and they think... You know, you just slice that up and butterfly it a little bit. Right. You know, what you get from your local uh, grocery store. Mm -hmm. you butterfly it, and that'll cook quicker on your saute pan or in your oven. Plus, it's better than pounding beef, which really damages the protein. Yes. Can I use this for a minute? Sorry, I, I put too, a, la, a little bit too much oil. Okay. I always clean the oil. Gotcha. A chef making adjustments as they go along. What a good. surprise, huh? Yeah, it's good. Part of the standard operating procedure. Good. We're not perfect. Nope. But you know, that's something then, in the restaurant industry that garlic. things happen sometimes, but it's how you correct them out quickly. It's the, you know, you just makes did. all the difference, yeah. yeah. So Eileen was asking something. What were we asking about? Well, I was just wondering uh, what your hours were in your restaurant. Oh, we open from 11 to 10 o'clock. Almost every night. Every night, okay. including Sunday. You open Sunday too. Okay. okay. And then, days a week. And do you cater or have delivery? We got delivery and carry out. Okay. Not catering yet. Not catering yet. Okay. So yeah, you take some time to develop that. Now, what so, did you just put in there? Yeah. Yeah. That was the lemongrass. Okay. But oh, it was uh, another roasted. Shredded, mm -hmm. shredded lemongrass. Did you did you use roasted garlic? We're going to use roasted <laughs> garlic. So here's and the other thing again, the two types of ro garlic and the two types of onion too you're using? Mm -hmm. Wow. Two onions, two garlics. Uh, it, for the last meal, it, it makes good sense. It's very good. Yeah. So you have mince at your door on the way out, correct? <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. It's not going to help. <laughs> All right, so this is good. So we got some beef and some onions. Did you design it's this dish, no, or where did you get this dish from? This dish uh, is a typical Vietnamese dish. Right. I just try to make it my way. Isn't that awesome? Though? So you customize it to how you want it. The plate. Mm -hmm. plate. Yeah. Wow, it's it's make sure. I love the plates one. you guys use, too. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice white plates. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, like, Pete, I got out. it. <laughs> what again, are you doing? Rice noodles again? I like that. <laughs> well, that's your plate. You gotta start serving your having a serving. He's first. ahead of me, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so oh, on the awesome. roasted uh, for the lemongrass and the two types of garlic and onion, you can get that at regular stores or is regular it? stores. Yes, okay. you can get it in Jewel. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Where else are you going to tap on here? You're going to need to move it over to the other burner. Yeah, we'll just move this off. The trick of this dish. Mm. Oh, boy. It's, uh -oh. All it's a double dish. So you guys had to mix. Oh, so. Oh, we mix it. oh wow. Wow. Nice. It's very, very it has good. has to be mixed with all the vegetables, mm -hmm. the jalapeno, and the sauce. And, and mixed it up. Oh, uh, okay. This is more like a sweet and sour sauce. Sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because okay. if you're not, you don't mix this stuff, it will not have no flavor in it. Ah. Gotcha. I'm going to use my finger, so Go ahead. pardon me. Yeah, you can just turn it off since we're done now. We've taken it up a notch, you know that. You know what? This we is really a great show. I like seeing something. all this That's stuff here. I like how you're making them work for their food now. That's awesome. No one's I ever like made them work for their food. They just get it all perfect, <laughs> you know? That's this fantastic. is Cook This OMG. <laughs> <laughs> From Oh My. Oh My. Right. Oh my yeah. and, and How did you come up with that name, Tone? 
Oh my. Uh, is that just? Oops. A friend. Does your wife always say that, or oh my? Or <laughs> no, she, always, she, she always say, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, so where'd the name come from? Uh, a friend of mine. A friend just brought thought it up? Mm -hmm. Excellent. How do you say it in Vietnamese, do you know? Oh no. No, probably oh my. Oh <laughs> my God. Um, so, you're a cook, you have different background, obviously. You know, you're a Mexican guy. Um, how, do, how are you enjoying this stuff? How are you enjoying? So you probably learned a lot with, through your wife and this kind of seasonings, you know. We don't use I lemongrass and we don't use curry and we don't use a lot of that stuff. You know, you enjoying the, the different contrast of you know, cooking I, different I'm, styles? I'm Mexican, but uh, I grew up with my wife. I've been okay. married for now, I was 17 years old. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. So, oh, wow. I think I grow up more, so, of, more with Asian food than uh, okay. Mexican food. Okay, all right. That's interesting, that's very interesting. So you're more comfortable with this than tamales, probably. That's excellent. So do you enjoy making this? What's your favorite dish to make at your restaurant? My favorite dish <clears throat> is stop the, she can, she can cook for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's me too. What is your number one selling dish in the restaurant? Lemongrass beef. Lemongrass beef? Okay. Yeah. Huh. What about for appetizer? Or? Appetizer will be the uh, vegetable the spring salad. rolls. Okay. The shrimp rolls. They're very one. refreshing. They're not fried, anything. Okay. And it had, comes with a little peanut sauce in it. It's completely different than Thai. Yeah. Hmm. What about now dessert? What's a Vietnamese dessert, dessert that would? Mm -hmm. Vietnamese dessert, uh, I didn't create yet. Okay, so you're still we, on We're still thinking what we're going to put in it. It's funny, when a restaurant opens, we have this grand idea of what we're going to do, and then it all changes two months after we open. And then we figure <laughs> out, we got to move equipment, we got to make some menu changes, this isn't selling, this is selling really good, so we're going to have to get, buy more of that, you know. So I'm sure there's more great things to come on the menu. How about some uh, very, very good comments on the food? You're right about the sauce. It, yeah. You really have to put it on there. Yeah, and definitely. All the other stuff. The, it, it, it's so it good. worked real good. It complements each other. Mm -hmm. And again, it still amazes me about the garlic and the onion using the two types of forms. Mm -hmm. It just That's very. I've never seen that. You're using two garlics, two onions. I'm right now. I'm thinking, you know, because I usually don't think that much on here. It's basic stuff. It's common knowledge. But seeing all these different things in your lemongrass shaved like that is very interesting. I'm used to seeing the regular lemongrass. The lemongrass. And then using two different contrasts of the garlic and the onions. So this is giving it more of a crunch. But you need the onions in the beginning to sauté and sweat for flavor mm -hmm. profile. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very interesting. Johnny, any comments? Yes, I think my role on the panel has changed. I should just be here to eat. Yes, we should just watch because face it's facial reaction. Facial reaction. Why communicate? Just, oh my gosh, because it's, it's great, absolutely you know? amazing. I love the <laughs> kick on the back end. Plus, I also mm -hmm. love too how he set up with the two platters. You yeah, have to use the amazing. first one as your base, and then you, you put on top. I thought wow. that worked out yes. real good. And very colorful dishes as well. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of different colors in there. Well, yeah. Tony, A plus on both plates, man. Yeah, this is a very good. interesting show. Yeah. Um, where are you located? 50 South LaGrange. 50 South LaGrange, LaGrange, right downtown LaGrange, right there on the main street. You're brand new. Good luck with everything. To you and your wife, you guys uh, are restaurant tours in the community. And yeah, I think you guys are well respected for many years. So um, congratulations to you on that. Thank you for coming on the show. I know it's difficult to leave a restaurant and um, feed people garlic and onions <laughs> yeah. in the morning. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but uh, thank you for being on the show. Very, very I'm your host, Pete Calvetti on Cook This. Stay tuned to the next episode. Stay hungry. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.